Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to discuss some of the question answers from the chapter Carbon and its Compound. This chapter is under CBSE Standard 10 Syllabus. So we are solving question answer from the page number 61 and the first question is what would be the electron dot structure of carbon dioxide which has formula CO2. So carbon dioxide is a covalent compound. So they will share the electrons and they will form the bond. Now here carbon's one atom is attached with oxygen's two atoms. Whenever we are answering a question for the bonding, whether it is a covalent bond or ionic bond, first of all we will write atomic number, then electronic configuration. We will explain after that that how much electrons they are lacking by and then we will show the sharing or transfer of electrons. So here first we will write carbon. Its atomic number is 6. Its electronic configuration is 2 full. Oxygen. Its atomic number is 8 and electronic configuration is 2, 6. Here, carbon is lacking by 4 electrons to complete its L shell. Oxygen is lacking by its 2 electrons to complete its L shell. So here, we require 4 electrons from oxygen and we require two electrons from carbon. So let us see that how they will share this. So this is our carbon. Let us show one, two, three and four. These are valence electrons. We are showing dot structure. So in dot structure we are always showing only valence electron. Now oxygen. Oxygen's six electrons we are showing like this. Here These are 6 electrons. Now, how they are going to share? So, this 2 electrons and this 2 electrons. Complete 4 electrons. Carbon will share with this electron and this electron. So, 2 electrons it will share with this oxygen. And 2 electrons it will share with this oxygen. So, how we are going to write this structure is something like this. So, 2 electrons from carbon. 2 electrons from carbon. And here oxygen will share two, two electrons like this. So remaining six electrons of oxygen. This is oxygen and oxygen is in turn sharing two electrons and the rest six electrons. Now if you will see this six electrons of oxygen. Here carbon is sharing this two electrons to oxygen. So oxygen's Octet is completed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oxygen's octet is completed. Now if we will see similarly for the carbon. Then carbon's octet is also completed. 4 electrons here and 4 electrons here. And for another oxygen this octet is also completed. So in turn Carbon is sharing its all the four electrons to two oxygens. And one oxygen is sharing two electrons to carbon. And another oxygen is also sharing two electrons to carbon. In this sharing, carbon is sharing its all the four electrons. And in turn, oxygen is sharing its two electrons. Now, Carbon's requirement is 4 electron whereas oxygen's requirement is 2 electron. That is also an important point why they have shared this. This we will discuss in combining capacity and in valency. Check my video based on combining capacity and valency. So it will give you an idea that how an atom will form molecule via transfer of electron or via sharing of electron which motivates them to share electrons and how many electrons they will share and how many electrons they will transfer to form a bond. So all this concept will get clear when you will watch the video based on combining capacity and valence. 
So here our electron dot structure of carbon dioxide is completed and here we will write in turn this is a molecule of CO2. If we will talk about the covalent bonding between oxygen and carbon then carbon is sharing and oxygen is sharing two two electrons. So it will result in double bond and here also two two electrons are being shared in between these two so it will also result in double bond. So in between two oxygen carbon is sharing four covalent bonds and so that carbons all the four valency the tetra valency is being satisfied here and oxygen's two two valency is being satisfied here. So in carbon dioxide molecule there are two double bonds in between carbon and oxygen. Our second question is what would be the electron dot structure of molecule of sulfur which is made up of 8 atoms. So here sulfur's atomicity is 8. We have learnt atomicity concept in previous chapter that what is the meaning of atomicity. Atomicity means with the same element atom will form molecule. For example, oxygen's atomicity is 2, hydrogen's atomicity is 2, chlorine's atomicity is 2, phosphorus atomicity is 4 and sulfur's atomicity is 8. One element will form a molecule of its own atom that is known as atomicity. So oxygen will form a bond with oxygen atom, hydrogen will form a bond with hydrogen atom. And how many atoms are joined together and form a stable molecule? That many numbers will suggest that what is the atomicity for that element. So 2 is the atomicity for oxygen, 4 is the atomicity for phosphorus and 8 is atomicity for sulfur. Here they have asked us to draw a structure of sulfur molecule in which there are 8 atoms of sulfur are there. Now first of all, 16 is atomic number of sulfur. So what is electronic configuration? It is 2, 8. So we have completed 10 here. Now 6 is remaining. So K, L and M. In M shell, 6 electrons are there. So we require 2 more electrons to fill this M shell. Because M shell will be filled by 8 electrons. All the outermost shell will have 8 electrons maximum. So we require 2 electrons here. So when it is attaching with another sulfur, it will share 2 electrons. Now when sulfur will share 2 electrons with another sulfur atom, it will form a crown like structure. So it is similarly like this. So it will form a structure like this and here at every corner there is a one sulfur atom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So first of all you have to remember this structure that crown like structure they will make and at each corner the sulfur atom is being placed. Now similar structure we can follow or we will just write here the S which will show that one atom is here or if we want to show the electrons then it is something like this. First we will draw this and here we will place a sulphur. So at each corner sulphur atom will be So at each corner the sulfur atoms are there and there are 8 atoms in one molecule of sulfur. And in turn they are sharing how many electrons? 2-2 two, two electrons with each other. So here in between two sulfur atoms which kind of bonding we can show or we can see. So it is like this. So there are 6 valence electron in one sulfur. So this is another sulfur and these are 6 valence electrons. So they will be sharing the 6 electrons like this. So at, in between 2 atoms this kind of sharing will be there. 
in between all the two sulfur atoms. This kind of sharing will be there. In between we have to show four electrons and in turn they are sharing two, two electrons. So if you will see this sulfur octet has been completed and this sulfur octet has also been completed. But here the main point is this structure. This crown like structure we have to show when we are showing the molecule of sulfur. Thank <laughs> you.